Hey everyone, the Flying Halucha here, and today I've got a new intro. It's hey everyone instead of hey guys, because I may have uh, girls and women watching this video, and it's a bit, you know, bit rude of me to say hey guys every time I make an intro, so it's hey everyone from now on. But anyway, hey everyone, the Flying Halucha here, and today we're going to be a review of... Uh, What's this? From McLean Artists, he'd be the creator of her. He's the director of this. Don't know who the director of this is. I'm trying to read it. Doesn't say. Art director. Masaru So... So... If it's an A, Sato. Masura at Sato. Whatever. Uh, this is the standard Blu-ray edition. The collector's edition cost about £40. I'm not paying that. The United Kingdom collector's edition is shit anyway. It's got... Uh, it's, it's literally got the Blu-rays, two Blu-rays, two DVDs, and about four or five postcards. That's about it. So you know my uh my Code Gear Solution of Res Resurrection. It's sort of like that. It's got two Blu-ray. His thing has got one Blu-ray, one DVD, and then a bunch of postcards. I'm not interested in a bunch of postcards. Screw that. But uh, the American version, I think, had like two booklets or something. But yeah, I I could not care less. I've got it on Blu-ray. That's all I need. I don't need no postcards. And why would I want an alternative DVD? Why would I want to watch it on DVD? I want to watch it on Blu-ray. Standard Blu-ray is all I need. This goes for quite a lot of money as well. This is like Elfin Lead. It costs a lot on Blu-ray. So basically, on eBay, you're going for like £25 standard Blu-ray. Uh, Zavi selling for like £25. I got this on Amazon. Now, Amazon, there was a... Uh, MVM Entertainment was selling this for £19.99 with free postage, but... I went, it, it said the 26th it is going to arrive. I think today is the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. Today is the 22nd. It said it's going to arrive on the 26th. I was like, oh, screw that. So I, I ordered this back uh, on the 21st, which is yesterday. And it said uh, it will arrive on the 26th if you buy it from MBM. So I was like, screw that. And then Amazon was selling it for £20 and 40p. So really, I only spend like 41p more than I get the 1999 one. It said this was supposed to come on Friday. It actually got delivered the next day. I mean, you can't get better than that. So, use my trusty bike key. Gonna open it up. Brand new and sealed, as you can tell. These are really expensive as well, but like I said, I got this on uh, brand new on Amazon. Even second hands go for a lot of money. I got this for... Twenty pounds and forty pence. Throw that shit away. Right. Here it is. Open it up. Voila, that was pretty 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 awesome. Episodes one to nine. MVM Entertainment, hello. Sort of like Shaka Ganeshano's MVM Entertainment. Episodes 10 to 13 plus extras. And then I close this up. See? Just spin that around for you guys real quick. Boom. Don't need to see the con uh, condition because it's going to be good. Because it's brand new. You get the odd scratches from manufacturers because I bought flipping Norska of the Valley of the Wind and it had bare amount of scratches on it even though it's literally sealed and brand new this is what the back says i've heard so many people have watched this anime and just don't understand what it's about they've watched it rewatched it and gone yeah what have i just watched <laughs> uh dvd extras promo video pff, rubbish original commercial pff, rubbish you can see that on youtube techless open uh, i don't know why they do this why they put a tech uh, textless Textless, there we go, textless opening song and textless closing song. Literally, when you're watching the episodes, you see that anyway. So really, 
It's just without the text. I I'll, I'll prefer it with the text. US trailer and trailers. Screwed out. I can see that on YouTube. So, pretty crappy. If you had an interview with the... Uh, a uh, interview with the director or whatever would have been kind of cool, but... Japanese English. This came out in 1998, for those of you that do not know. So, yeah. That's it, really. Standard. Like I said, there's, like... I think there's, like, a really, really big collection, which is going for, like, £300, which is, like, big hard cardboards. You get bonus discs, bonus booklets and postcards and shit. I don't know what that's called. I'll leave a link in the description if I can find it, but I'm not interested. I want to see it on Blu-ray. I want to see it in, you know, high definition or 1080p. I want to see it, you know, in good condition. That's all I care about. I don't give two shits about postcards and DVDs. Actually, why would I want a DVDs? Blu-ray and DVD. Why would I want DVD when I've just got it on Blu-ray? I'm never going to watch it on the DVD, so what's the point? And the postcard, really? prefer a booklet the americans get this they get a collector's edition they get two booklets and two dvds and blu-rays like we do can they get a booklet we get a shitty postcard that makes so much sense doesn't it but uh yeah that's it hope uh guys i want to be doing a series soon it's basically i want to be reacting to animes so this is what i'd be doing this is a slight face reveal for those of you who haven't seen my face before. But, uh, it'll be. See, it'll be sort of like this. So you'd have me, and then you'd have the TV. Now, I'd be muting out the audio, and you'd only be able to read the subtitles. So I'd be watching the TV like this, reacting, laughing, doing whatever, and the audio would be muted. You get, like, even the picture itself isn't really excellent as such. Because you can still, it's still a bit blurry, isn't it? So you won't be getting, like, full entertainment and such. But the subtitles will be there, but I have my headphones in. So only I can hear the audio. But, yeah. So, yeah, I'll be watching it on, like, like that, really. But, you know. Anyway, this is the spare bedroom I got. I don't, I don't stay in this room. Basically, my brother moved out. And this is the spare room I use. My room is next door. I've done reviews in that room before, but yeah. This is just a spare room where I just keep all my crap, you know. I have all that shit that I just keep in the spare room. Seeing as he doesn't live there anymore. But yeah, this is just all my spare shit. Whenever my friends come around, they sleep in this room. But yeah, I sleep in the other room. But I'll be doing my reviews in this, this uh, bedroom from now on. And I'll be... Uh, Watching animes, hopefully I won't get copyrighted, but as long as I don't show the audio and the picture isn't, you know, enjoyable for people to watch, then I might be able to do it. So starting this Friday, I'll be doing, I'll be watching this on my TV without the audio and the picture may be a bit blurry because I'm going to put it on a uh, uh, 10, but basically I'm doing this video now on 4K60. Uh, if Pink would be 10.30, I'll be doing it on. Uh, I don't know what it is, but yeah. Anyway, I'll hopefully be doing anime reviews. Not anime reviews, I'll be reacting to anime episodes. So I'll be like episode one, reaction, review and shit like that. So this is 13 episodes long, starting from Friday. I'll be uploading three videos a day. If they get copyrighted, I'll just never upload them again. But hopefully I won't get copyrighted because I've seen people out there, you know, get away with it for far, you know, far less than what I did. I mean, far more than what I did, but yeah. I've seen a guy who's actually, you know, done the music and they've just, they've just claimed his video but not taken it down. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 12 rating down before it be at least 15. And I will be back on Friday watching Siri Experiments Lane. And then hopefully in the future I'll do more reviews of me just watching the anime without the audio. Anyway, you'll see more on Friday. But hope you guys enjoyed this review. I've finished Monster, by the way. I've watched every single one. Monster will be doing a review around the 20, 21st. The actual box set I managed to get imported from Australia. So yeah. And 
that's it really i hope you guys enjoyed this review see you friday